Last week, we talked about where and how to actually learn the skill of copywriting, whether you go the free route or pay to learn from an expert, which is what I recommend. Then we talk about choosing your niche and service, and I gave you some homework to go and do before watching this. Choose your service, choose your niche, identify the top 10 biggest players in your niche, and sign up for all of their lists and start reading their emails. My homework was to learn how to put up this finger without moving this finger. Still not able to do it, so if you know in the comments how to do that, let me know. Professor Ferris doesn't like it when his students don't do their homework, okay? So if you haven't watched and implemented part one, please do so now, or otherwise this video isn't gonna be a whole lot of use to you. This isn't Netflix, we're actually here to build your freelancing copywriting business week by week. Thank you. And yes, it's official, we have moved. The new CMB headquarters has a new home up on level 72 of the beautiful new Meriton Ocean building on the Gold Coast. I'll give you a proper tour once it's all set up since there are shitloads of boxes everywhere. So in the meantime, enjoy this picture of a shell and let's get into the video. Now that you've actually learned or are learning the actual skill of copywriting, so you have a legitimate skill you can bring to businesses in exchange for $2,000, $3,000 or even $5,000 a month. In part two today, we are gonna be covering the setup. So what does this mean it's time to get clients? Hold your horses and please keep your dick in your pants for just one more week, okay? I didn't wake up this morning and ask to see a bunch of dicks in my face. Okay. I know you're excited for the Lambo and the penthouse and you want to be chilling here with your boy smoking cigars and shit, looking out over the entire southern hemisphere, watching the sunset over the gorgeous golden beaches of Surfers Paradise. But before we can talk about getting actual businesses to want to pay you for your services, there's a small problem. You are a total beginner. Okay. Started learning copywriting last week. You really think high level business owners are gonna shell out thousands of dollars and hand over the keys to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? Like, here you go, honey, knock yourself out. Lock up when you're done, okay, sweetie? Well, yes, that's exactly the plan. Most beginners think that they need months or years of experience before they're ready to work with high paying clients, but they're missing out because it is just not true. When I started as a copywriter, I wasn't writing for billion dollar companies like Agora Financial. I wrote for small and mid-sized brands who were collecting emails but doing a pretty shitty job of monetizing their list. They thought I was an absolute hero and kept paying me every month. This is what most of our successful students do. So you don't need to be the next Gary Helbert, you just need to be one step ahead of the businesses that you're writing for. Now, having said that, I really cannot stress enough, before you can think about getting clients and getting paid, your skills need to be up to scratch. So yes, while you don't need to be the next David Ogilvy, you don't need a fucking PhD in copywriting, you do need to be good enough to get results for your clients. Otherwise, even if you do manage to trick someone into working with you, they're sure as hell not gonna stay with you next month. So you need to make it a top priority to hone your skills every day until you're at a point where you can at least make your clients more money than what they're paying you, which is very easy by the way. So just because your brand's spanking you doesn't mean that your clients need to know that. And what you'll find is that many of them don't even care about experience. They only care about results. So if you have the right mindset, you have solid ethics, and you actually care about getting your clients results and not just making a bag, then you can outwork your beginnerness that's a word now, by going above and beyond. And that is what we're covering in this video. We are gonna disguise you as a pro until you become one. And this, my friend, is the beautiful thing about the internet. You can be whoever you wanna be. And with a few simple tweaks to your profile, we can transform you from total amateur to someone who actually looks like a professional copywriter. Which begs the question, do you need a website? Do you need a portfolio? Do you need to be on Facebook and LinkedIn? And job boards, do you need to be posting three times a day and writing free samples to get testimonials? Patience, Iago. We'll get to all that in a second. First, I just wanna put things into perspective and show you where your role as a copywriter fits into a business in the hierarchy of importance. See, there are three core skills, three rungs you have to climb to have a business that is successful long-term. The bottom rung, the survival tier, is sales. If you can get someone to show up for a call and sell them something over the phone or in person, you can make good money six figures, but it is a never ending hustle and you will need to continue doing that every single day until the end of time to sustain your income. If you stop selling, your business dies. The rung above that is marketing. Now, instead of surviving, we are thriving. 
Instead of selling one to one, you're selling one to many. Okay, this is the rung that copywriting sits in. If you can get this right, then the selling becomes so much easier because people already know you, they already like you, they already trust you, and they actually want what you're selling. Take Panadol as an example. It is completely generic paracetamol if you read the ingredients. Identical to generic paracetamol down to the atom. The same exact product, but Panadol is able to charge twice as much and still be the market leader because people see it on the shelf, they recognize it, and they buy it. The chemist isn't hustling to try and get you to choose Panadol over the generic brand. In fact, it's the opposite. There are zero sales necessary. That is the power of great marketing. And one level above that, we have the God tier. This is the core product, the core service, AKA what we call the offer. All frills aside, what do people actually get when they give you money? What's in the box? How is it packaged and presented? Does it come with a warranty or a guarantee? All of that is the offer. Think about Apple. <sighs> yes, their marketing is fantastic, but at the end of the day, the reason that people buy, the reason these guys are the market leader is that their products are phenomenal. They make the best phones and the best computers, hands down, end of debate, argue with me in the comments all you like, but I've used everything. And Apple shit is the best, no contest. All right, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. So they don't need to sell you and they don't need tons of fancy copywriting to get you to wanna buy their stuff. They just make really great stuff and people wanna buy it. Buy it again and again. Word spreads, people tell their friends and they share the gospel and they have positive word of mouth working in their favor instead of against them. This right here is my fourth iPhone and this is my third Mac. I've spent over $20,000 with Apple in the last 10 years and I'll probably spend another 20 Gs in the next 10 years. But think about how fucking easy of a job Apple's copywriters have selling their products. Dude doesn't need to do anything. Apple's chief copywriter rolled out of bed. He wrote one word. iPhone 14. Wonderful. Wonderful. Bro didn't even spell it right. A dude had one job. Dude had one job. He had one word to proofread. Couldn't even do that. Collected his 200K paycheck and fucked off to Maui for the rest of the year. Apple probably hired him from Upwork. <laughs> They hired the laziest copywriter of all time and yet they're still the biggest company in the world worth over two and a half trillion dollars. Two and a half trillion dollars. I don't think you understand how much money that is. You could buy a brand new Lamborghini every hour for the next 500 years and you would still have the entire GDP of South Africa left over. That is how fucking rich Apple is. On the flip, if your core offer is average or below average and the people who buy it, they're not super excited, they don't come back and buy again, they don't tell their friends and you have no word of mouth or even worse, bad word of mouth working against you, then you're gonna have to hustle like hell with your marketing and sales until the end of time to keep your business afloat. So as crucial as your job as a copywriter is to the success of your client's business, you have to understand where you sit in the hierarchy. You cannot polish a turd. AKA, you cannot outmarket, outsell, or outcopy a lousy offer. The offer is king. It is by far the most important piece of the puzzle. It is more important than any copy you will ever write. If your client's shit sucks, no amount of fancy copywriting techniques is going to fix it. However, if your client's offer is a 10 out of 10, you don't need any copy at all to sell it, which makes your life pretty damn easy. Another reason that we only wanna partner with businesses that are already successful and help winners win more, because as powerful as copywriting is, you're not actually a magician, and if the product or service isn't good, then you shouldn't be selling it. So, what's an example of a good offer? Well, let's take a look at the oldest business transaction in the world as an example. If you're a heterosexual male watching this right now, like 97% of my YouTube audience tends to be, and I said, hey, I have stunning blonde Russian beauty, Natalia. She will come to your house and ride you like stolen bicycle for hours. You'd be like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Natalia can come over whenever she wants. There's no fucking sales page. There's no 45 minute VSL. There's no scarcity. Hurry. You must act now. I only have four Natalias left in stock. There's no social proof. See why 857 men rate Natalia best bicycle ride of their pathetic virgin life. 
There's no price anchoring. Usually, Natalia, $3,000 per minute to make eye contact with you. But for you, I give you a good deal. Two hours bicycle ride, two easy payments of 197. There's no coupon codes. Enter code DRAGON at checkout and she will perform fire breathing dragon act on your PP. There's no upsells. Buy two Natalia, get third Natalia free. She bring her hot friend and her cousin, okay? Second cousin is okay, not related, only a little bit. There's no downsells. Two times 197 too much? What about for 47? The same, no different. Only instead of Natalia, we send Stanislav. He will ride you like chainsaw. Is okay? There's no landing page. Enter your email and say 5% on shipping and handling. Is optional, but I have friend with Uzi, so enter your fucking email. There's no order bumps. Would you like to add champagne and cock ring? Only $19 extra, a one-time offer. Wait, do not press back button or you may be billed again. By the way, would you like to add insurance? This will prevent mysterious men in black ski mask from showing up with big guns and taking all your stuff. Hypothetically, extra 197. You don't need any of that shit. The offer sells itself. This is what you get, and this is the price. And millions of men go, yup, sounds good. I'll take two, and I'll come back next week for two more. Which is why prostitution is the oldest form of business in existence and was thriving long before anything that resembles modern day copywriting was invented. And now that the 3% of my woman audience have probably clicked off this video in disgust, I highly recommend if you somehow have not already read it, pick up a copy of Alex Hormozzi's book, $100 million offers. It'll guide you through how to craft a mafia offer so compelling that it simply cannot be refused. The better you can make your offer, the more clients you will land and the better you can help make your clients offers, the more money you'll make them which means the more they'll be happy to pay you and soon you'll have enough money to make Elon Musk cry like a little girl and maybe even afford CMB. <laughs> Kidding, we're full right now. You can try again next month. So with that out of the way, let's talk about how to present yourself as someone who actually knows what the fuck they're doing so that when we start reaching out to clients next week, they actually take you seriously and they give you the time of day. When it comes to the setup, there are three key things we wanna keep in mind. Your portfolio your website and your social presence. Now, when it comes to your portfolio, I have a whole video on this, which you can check out here. People love to overcomplicate this and say you need 100 samples organized into 15 different folders, color-coded in reverse alphabetical order, professionally designed in Canva. So much wankery and it is just not necessary, okay? Three samples in a Google Doc, that is all you need. Think of your portfolio as a movie trailer. It needs to be short, attention grabbing, and only show the best parts. You're trying to get people excited about your work, not bore them with a 12 volume encyclopedia of everything you've ever written. Remember how we chose your niche and your service last week? Write three samples of whatever type of copy you chose for that niche that you chose, upload them into a Google Drive folder. That is it, just three, that is all you need. How many legs does a stool need to stand? Three. You'll notice the number three comes up a lot in copy, by the way, and it's because when you're making any sort of claim, you usually wanna provide three forms of proof. That could be a Harvard study, a screenshot, a testimonial, a picture, even a graph that you made. This isn't the fucking magistrate's court, okay? We don't need hard evidence. Proof is anything that increases believability. And that is all we are trying to accomplish with this portfolio. We're trying to show potential clients that you know what you're doing and that you can get them results. They are busy business owners that are not gonna have time or the patience to read more than three sample emails anyway. So where do you get these samples? You write them. If you decided to offer Facebook ads for online pet stores, write three ads selling three different pet products. If you chose long form copy for health supplements, go and write three different leads for a sales page or VSL for different health supplement offers on ClickBank. If you chose email marketing for Amazon FBA coaches, sit down and write three emails selling an imaginary or real Amazon FBA coaching program. You've already signed up to the top 10 names in your niche last week. <coughs> was in your homework. You've seen a hundred of these emails by now. You know what the damn things look like. Just write them. If you can't do that, you're probably not gonna be a very good copywriter because you're gonna have to write a hell of a lot more than three emails in your career. The way you become a better copywriter is by writing copy. Not by reading it, not by studying books or courses, but by writing. Yes, of course, do all those things so you're practicing the right things, but at some point, you're gonna need to whip out your laptop and write. 
Super simple copywriting exercise to get better. Email is your service. Go to the favorites folder in your inbox that we made last week. Pick one email that you really like that grabbed your attention and made you want to click or buy and just write your own version of it, selling a similar product. Do that three times and congratulations, you have three samples. Even better, write three samples for real offers for real businesses and send it over to them using the script in my client's on command DM cheat sheet. Link in the description if you wanna grab a free copy. Get them to actually send the emails to their list and test them. If they do well, then it is a super easy foot in the door to land your first paying client and it is one of the best ways to get your first client if you're just starting out. But don't just send people free emails. That's what everyone does and it doesn't work that well. You have to word it in a particular way to maintain your authority, otherwise you'll be perceived as a noob, as I explain in this video here. Open in a new tab, not now. Okay, let's focus here. Strong focus on what I want. Which is why I've spent three years testing and refining the script in my client's on-command DM cheat sheet, down to every last comma. It's tried, it's tested, and it is free. Link in the description, just enter your email and it'll be in your hot little hands in no time. Plus, that way you get to join my email list and get even more value, because I'm a nice guy like that. Anyways, that is portfolio done. Write three samples, make sure that your absolute best work, okay, no typos, no grammatical errors, no weak spots. If your portfolio is the first impression clients get of your work, you wanna make sure it's polished and makes you look like a pro. Now, let's talk about your website. This is gonna make a lot of copywriting coaches angry, but given I have better results and case studies than all of them, I don't really give a shit what they think. Your website, not that important. There, I said it. People get so hung up on this and I don't know why because it is so simple and most potential clients never even ask to see it anyway. Here is the two-step process to build your website in under two hours. Step one, go to Google Domains and buy a domain for $10. Just grab yourname.com if it's available, or if not, just add copy to the end or whatever tickles your pickle, okay, doesn't matter. Step two, sign up for CARD, C-A-R-R-D. It's free. Or for the pro option to remove their branding and use your own domain that we just bought, hang on to your seat, okay, try not to freak out. $19 a year. What? Build a simple, clean, elegant, one-page website on card. It'll take you an hour, maybe two hours if you're slow. Put up your bio, link to your samples that we just wrote in your portfolio, three testimonials and a calendar link. <laughs> Done. There's no need to wank about with WordPress and plugins and DNS records and all this crap. For $29 and under two hours, you can have a pro looking website with your own domain name, hosting, SSL, email capture form, payment form, samples, and testimonials ready to rock by the end of today. Get it up and get on with your life. For the bio, keep it lean and mean. All right, we don't wanna hear your entire life story. Just write one or two paragraphs on who you are, who you help, and how you help them. And please, for the love of Christ, make it fun and interesting. You're a copywriter. Demonstrate your copywriting skills. <laughs> there is nothing worse in this world, besides Coriander and Megan Trainer, than a bio that is like, I am an engaging and entertaining copywriter. I will write captivating and high converting copy that will blow your readers' minds. Click below to schedule a call. Stop telling me how good of a copywriter you are and show me with your writing. This is your time to stand out, let your personality shine and show prospects why you're different. And yes, I know you're a copywriter, so you probably have about as much personality as an accountant or a bodybuilder, but let's just pretend at least for the bio that you do have an actual personality. And lastly, if you're wondering, Sean, I only heard of copywriting yesterday. I haven't worked with anyone yet. I don't have any testimonials. What am I supposed to put on there? Shh, shh, it's okay, it's okay. Super easy workaround. You know those three samples that you wrote? Send them to people and ask for their feedback. Business owners, other copywriters, your mate, your nan, your dog. Hell, someone in the comments on this YouTube video, ask them for a testimonial. I'm not saying to lie and pretend that they were a client, never do that, but they can still give you feedback on your writing. Something like, I don't usually stop to read emails, but Alex's emails sucked me right in and kept me reading until the end. They're fun, entertaining, and I feel like this guy is reading my mind when he describes the weight loss struggles I've been experiencing. 
I've never clicked a link faster in my life. If you're a fitness coach and you want a pro copywriter that'll keep your readers coming back and buying again and again, Alex is your man. Boom, that is an honest testimonial right there and you can get three of these super easily. Is it as good as, I worked with Alex and he made me $50,000 in 30 days and saved my business from bankruptcy? No, but it is a hell of a lot better than nothing. So, that's website done and dusted. Now let's talk about the third and final piece of the setup, your socials. No, God, please, no. No, you don't need to be posting five times a day on LinkedIn or doing stupid TikTok dances, but it is a good idea to at least have a social presence on every major platform. If you're gonna work with these clients, newsflash, one of you is gonna have to find out about the other person somehow. And I hate to break it to you, but clients don't just fall into your lap like apples from a tree. You have to put yourself out there in some way. The only platform you're going to use with my methods are Facebook and maybe Instagram, but at the very least, you should have an account on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Fuck Twitter, no one uses it besides crypto bros and Elon Musk. And obviously, fuck TikTok. If I wanted to kill my brain cells, I would just use a baseball bat, it's faster. So sure, by all means, make a profile on them, reserve your username just in case, but we're not gonna be actively using them. So even though we won't be actively using most social platforms, it is a good idea to reserve your username on all major platforms because you never know, maybe one day Clubhouse will be cool. I'm kidding, we have a higher chance of Half-Life 3 actually being released than that happening. The point here is that when we start reaching out to prospects in the coming weeks, if they decide to search you up, which if they're interested in working with you, they will, we wanna make sure that they find something other than an empty closet full of spider webs and uneaten coriander. Nope. So set all your profiles up with a clean, professional looking profile pic, right? and go take a picture if you don't have one. I'm sure you have at least one friend if you don't, it's probably because you're a copywriter or because your name is Shiv Shetty. For the bio, just keep it simple and clear. What do you do and who do you help? Email marketing wizard for health supplement brands. Facebook ads king for bowling coaches. Fucking bowling coaches. If you want to take it a step further, you can write a good old two-piece statement. Right, I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. Either I help person with problem. For example, I help e-com coaches who aren't growing fast enough, that's one version, or I help person to promise. For example, I help furniture stores turn their email list into an ATM. All that's left is to make a few posts on each profile to make it look like someone actually lives there and you're good to go. In terms of what to post, you're a copywriter. Use your brain. But just share lessons, stories, copywriting tips, ways your niche business owners can make money quickly. I'll be talking next week on what to post, but for now, let's just get some activity happening so your prospects actually have a chance of discovering you. And that, my good friend, will bring us to the most important part of part two of my zero to 10K a month copywriting series. Five action steps from this lesson. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is write your three samples for your portfolio, three Google Docs, upload it to Google Drive, get it done. Second, you're gonna send these samples around to get your three testimonials. It's kinda like sleeping around, except for testimonials instead of validation and STDs. <laughs> yeah, boy. The fuck do I come up with this shit? An STDs, what? <laughs> Third, you're gonna build your site in card. It'll take you two hours and $29. You can have it done by tonight. Fourth, create any necessary social accounts and prime your socials ready for clients to see. Bio, profile picture, and put up a few posts. And fifth, I want you to order and read three very particular copywriting books. So now that you're signed up to all these email lists from your <coughs> homework from last week, and going through funnels and seeing patterns and trends on how they're persuading you to open, click, and buy, it is time for you to understand why it's working. I'm the type of guy that prefers to start with the real world shit first and then explain why it works afterwards. This isn't one of those boring college classes where I teach you about the history of copywriting and the world's most famous copywriters and then weeks of theory and then you finally get to see a real life sales page. Fuck that, I am gonna show you the magic trick first, like BAM, and then afterwards I reveal the mind fuck and teach you why and how it works. 
So without further ado, if you want to become adept in the dark arts of copywriting, here are the top three books that I recommend you read. Actually, fuck recommendations. This is a goddamn prescription, all right? There are thousands of books out there. These are the top three to get started. Number one, Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins. Number two, Ogilvy on Advertising by David Ogilvy. And number three, Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. I guess the world's best copywriters put so much effort into their books that they ran out of ideas for their headlines. This last book, by the way, is very hard to find a hard copy for under $400. So just Google for the PDF. And of course, the offer Bible I mentioned earlier, $100 million offers by Alex Hormozzi. I want you to order this and I want you to read this one first because I think it is the most important. So that is part two done and dusted. You got your work cut out for you. I have sunshine and a pool waiting for me. So that's my work cut out for me. It's, it's a tough life being a successful copywriter, I know. I'll see you next week when it's time to talk about everyone's favorite topic, landing high paying clients. And hey, if you want a head start, I left a helpful training for you down below. Free for you as a present for subscribing and making it all the way to the end. Click here to watch part three when it's up and I'll see you next week. Adios.